Pitch Tools. How are we all going today? Hey, I've had a few emails from you fellas want to know about these bloody sort of plasma cutters here. There's the ones with the built-in compressor. Are they really any good? Considering that I use a three or four horsepower compressor just to run the normal plasma cutter. So how could something this small, mind you it's bloody heavy, it weighs about 20 kilos, how could something this small actually have a compressor in it that can keep up with your cutting? Anyway guys, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to compare this machine here because it has a switch on the front there if you have a look guys so you can run it internally or you can run it on an external compressor like this and you can actually switch between modes while you're cutting so you can either tell it to use the internal or the external while you're cutting so that should give us a really good idea guys of what the thing will actually cut and do you really need a big compressor or not anyway guys you know what to do if you like my channel subscribe drop me a like drop me a comment and let's get into it so as you can see guys, I've got a few plasma cutters lying around the place and the old welder as well. But this is the compressor here that I use guys. Now how the hell can the plasma cutter with a built in little compressor like that be as efficient as a big compressor like this? Well, we're about to find out. Yeah! Now as I showed you guys, I've got a few of these plasma cutters, but this is the biggest one that I've ever brought. It's the heaviest one I've brought as well. It's almost 20 kilos. It must be the weight of the compressor. So it must be pretty solid to start off with. The only thing I don't like about this so far is this stupid little air connector here on the back. Wow, well, Pete, put your feet on the ground to turn this around. See this here, guys? It's got a stupid snap-in air connector. I don't really like that. I had to put a smaller hose onto a bigger hose to add onto my um, air fitting that plugs into my compressor. Like I say, they should really just have this fitting screw straight in the back. But anyway, it is what it is. But having the option here from a big compressor coming in here, where you can adjust the air pressure here and it comes out on a digital gauge at the front gives us a whole lot more options to actually see what air we need to cut how thick steel with if you know what i mean anyway so we can like i said to you before we can chop and change we're almost while we're plasma cutting to go from the internal to the external compressor so if we turn this on guys we shift the digital readout light up here here we go as you can see guys we've got it running on the internal compressor we've got it on the cut rather than the blowing ear because you can actually use it as an air gun and you can also use it to uh, get all the condensation out of the line before you start up the next day so it's a bit of a blowout thing as well and we've got it set to 2t here which means that when we push the uh, button on the torch like that and we let it go it goes and stops if we put it on 4t here when we push the button here and we can let it go it'll still keep on cutting until we hit the button again then it'll turn off so that's quite good really we've got here right from 15 amps right up to 40 amps and the working pressure at the moment inside this machine without an external compressor plugged in is 2.5 bar and when i went to school that's about 36 38 psi so can you plasma cut with 36 psi well let's go and find out actually guys before we go on with any cutting i'll plug the external air into it and i'll show you what i mean Got the air plugged into the back of it like that. We change it from internal to external. See how that went straight up to 4.3 bar, guys? And we can adjust the air pressure on the back here, like so. See it, 5.1, we're going back down. We go up here, it goes to high. That's high air pressure. That's working load. And if we go down too low, low. See, work there is 2.5, so obviously 2.5 is about the minimum that we're going to run on, and 2.5 is what the internal compressor supplies us. But if we go any lower, we're on low. So what we basically want is in the middle there to work. 2.5. So if we go internal, 2.5. External, 2.5. And we can alter that later when we do some cutting, guys. So guys, we'll start with the internal compressor at 2.5 bar, which I think is about 35 psi, and we're cutting 3 mil steel plate. I might actually take the spacer off because I prefer using it without a spacer. Right, internal compressor, see if it goes.
absolutely no problem whatsoever, guys. Although I was a little bit fast there, but it's only about the second time using this machine. So that's awesome, eh? Three mil, internal compressor. <laughs> what more do you want? Right now, what we'll do, guys, is we'll go to the external compressor and we'll turn it up to, we were at 2.4, so what I'll do is I'll go up to four, which is about 60 pounds. Here we go, air pressure bar, four bar, about 60 pound, guys. Right, well, so now we're on my big compressor, the external compressor. We're running at four bar, which is about 60 odd pound, I think. So we're about a third more air pressure than what it was using the internal compressor. Let's have a go, let's see if it's any quicker, guys. All in all, guys, I think it's much of a muchness. If you're cutting three mil, internal, external, 36 PSI to 60 PSI, it's about the same, guys. I think it is anyway. Right, so now let's go a little bit thicker, see what happens. Right, guys, now we've got some five mil plate. This is getting quite heavy steel now. So what we'll do is we'll go from the external compressor back to the internal compressor. See, we went from 4.5 to 2.5. So we're at the maximum it can supply air internally at 2.5 bar. So we'll see if we can cut 5 mil with it. Here we go guys, wonder if this will work. There we are guys, that's good thick steel, shit that's hot pit, yo! See that guys, no worries at all, 5 mil here. I'm quite impressed with that actually. I always thought that placement cutters with the internal compressor would be actually rubbish, but this is starting to prove me wrong. Right guys, we'll do the same cut, 5 mil, but we'll go to external compressor, so we've gone from 2.5 bar to 4 bar, about 60 odd PSI, 65 maybe. See if this cuts any quicker. I mean, five mils getting up there with the thickness of the plate, guys. Once again, guys, piece of cake to cut through that. That's using my big compressor and I'm burning myself again. So all in all guys, it's as much of a muchness. The compressor inside here can handle what we're cutting so far. So let's try and go a little bit bigger again. So now guys, we're talking the big mama. We're talking 10 mil plate. I think the internal compressor might struggle a bit with that, but let's switch it back to internal. We've gone from four bar down to 2.5 again. We've got that on maximum amperage. Let's kick it on the guts, see if it goes. Now I've got my doubts whether this machine with an internal compressor can actually cut this guys, but anyway, I'll try anything once. Here we go. with an internal compressor. Well, I would never have thought you'd be able to do the owl. That's hot. I would never have thought that. Shit, that's hot. Yo, woo wee. Didn't quite go through, but anyway. I never thought we'd be able to do that, guys. That's quite amazing. So if I put it on the external compressor and we pump a bit more PSI through it, see what happens then, eh? Well, there, guys, change it to external. We're at 3.9, we'll go up to four. There we go, four bar. Take it in the guts, see what happens. See if it's any quicker. Yeah!
Here we go, guys. Woo wee! Not doing that twice. <laughs> Bloody hot. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys, you get the point. Didn't cut any better than what it did with the internal compressor. Woo! So, guys, what do you think of that then? Surprised the hell out of me. I would never have thought that the machine like that could cut up to 10 mil without an external compressor. I mean, I've showed you both, cutting internally and externally, either side. Um, there's a few of these for sale on Amazon, two or three different models. Um, the ones I noticed on Amazon are not Pilot Arc, whereas this is a Pilot Arc machine. I brought this directly out of a factory in China that I deal with. So they had minimum quantity amounts that you can buy, so you have to buy more than one at a time. I was lucky because my sales rep lady happened to put my order in with another order and I got away with just buying one or two. Actually, don't tell you one, but I brought two guys. Really, really impressive. Um, so if you're wondering about internal compressors on plasma cutters, I hope this has helped you out a little bit. You know guys know what to do. Subscribe, do whatever you like, do whatever you want. See you next time. Bye. Pete's tools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com